Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining. There are a lot of a lot of people here already. Hi, Greg. Thanks for coming back. Cindy, hi. Maple, way. Cool. I'm glad you're here. Today there will be treats. The way you like it. Today we will be showing some cooking for Christmas in Brazil. And Nediva, Nediva from New York City. Are you new on my tours? Please follow me. I hope you all like and appreciate the tour today. It's going to be like a, a master chef cook show of my mom, her first one. So she's very excited to be here and she will be the star for tonight. So I hope you, you stay with us and then learn how to eat and prepare habanada, habanada from Spain and Portugal directly to Brazil and of course adapted and changed here. Hi, Anita. Jill, JV, thanks for joining, Elizabeth, and or Sarah, how is your mom doing? Marcel, nice, Jill, thank you, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. My mom's name is Vilma, hi, Wilty. Well, thank you all, hey, go Voyagers, to Rio de Janeiro. I'm Kelly Tavares, tour guide here in Rio. Some of you already know me. I lead uh, tours in the city, walking tours, historic and cultural tours, and experiences as well. And today I've planned a special show at home because it's Christmas. So it's a nice moment that I like to stay cozy at home with my beloved ones. Oh, nice. Cool. And hey, Hannah, sweetheart, Merry Christmas, my love, my dear. Thanks for being here present with mommy. So it's going to be mommy, grandma, and all of the guests around. Cool. So I am a tour guide here at the agency uh, Rio Encantos Experiences. And this uh, today, I'm bringing the Habanada recipe and my mom, Vilma Tavares which who I will soon introduce to you. She's getting set there at the kitchen and you ha have a, a chance to see uh, also a little bit of my house. So you can have an idea of one type of Brazilian house. What's pretty cool when some a guide gives the, some this kind of tours inside of their homes because we have that opportunity of seeing how it is inside of someone's house in another place in the world. And we have very diverse architecture and houses here in Brazil. So you have uh, one idea that's very, very nice and different, uh, the different types of houses. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. So usually every year we live like in a community-based style, like community uh, living. So we have a big house and with four bedrooms. So we do Airbnb, we receive people from all over Brazil, all over the world. So people stay here with us and either for a weekend or a holiday or even six months or three years. And some of these people, they really become part of the family because that's how we treat each other. And it's uh, from a, a tradition that's an old tradition from different people and from our ancestry here in Brazil as well, either from African people and since we are African descent or the gypsy people from my mother's part of uh, Spain and Barcelona, or either from uh, the indigenous ancestors here from my part here in Brazil as well. So it's uh, this way of living together. And I, uh, it's a way of living, something that we really like to do and share. So today we, uh, we were cooking a few things for Christmas, just a few things, because the way we live here in our house specifically, is really um, valuing each, each other in a simple way of life. So we, uh, we cook enough to eat and be fine and healthy and whole, and, but not exaggerating. We don't buy a lot of gifts. We don't make a big Christmas tree. But my mom, she kept the tradition of always having tiny Christmas trees, such as this one. Look how neat. 
so it's nice isn't it so she has these and a few christmas trees here at the table that i'm going to share with you so yes please follow me on at hue encantos experiences on instagram hi Kara. thanks for joining uh, and then if you like the recipe, if you like what you learn and see here, I will be more than happy to share the recipe with you folks through my Instagram. The only thing you need to do is go to the Instagram, Rio Encantos, R-I-O-E-N-C-A-N-T-O-S. Follow me and say, Kelly, would you please send me that amazing recipe? I would like to try. And of course, you have to adapt maybe a few things, but that's going to work. Mini Christmas Groots. Groots. I, Maple, I'm going to research that. What does Groots mean? Yeah. So, okay. Now, I guess I'm going to ask my mom. Mãe, tudo certo aí? Ah, she said everything is right Olá, there. Tudo bem? Ah, there you go. Here's my mom, Vilma. And uh, tá pronta pro show? Sim. She's ready for the show. That's great. I don't have Instagram. Do you have another way of sharing your recipe? Yes, Anita, sure. For those of you who don't have uh, Instagram, you can also go to Rio Encantos, R-I-O-E-N-C-A-N-T-O-S on Facebook. And I will be happy to share the recipe through Facebook as well. Or from email, rioencantos at gmail.com. If any of you want to type that there, also I appreciate. Sayuri, look mom, Sayuri is here present. Hey Sayuri, tour guide from Salvador Bahia. And that's amazing. Sayuri, let's, let's do Habanada. Do you do Habanada in Salvador? Ah, okay. Anita, thanks for joining. Olá, mama. A Sayuri is saying, Olá, mama. A Sayuri falou, Oi, mamãe. <laughs> okay. Hi, Mimi. Hi, Daniel. Nice. So I'm going to share a little bit of my, where this show will take place. This is my house, the back patio of my house. And we love gardening. I love gardening. And also, we have another indigenous tradition here is the hammock, which we love, especially during summertime. Mommy does habanada with coconut milk. Ela pergunta se você vai fazer com, com coco, com leite de coco. <laughs> so Sayuri, she was asking, should I do it with coconut today or without it? So we were wondering, and I think today we will do without coconut milk but i but she said that she can make with coconut milk with if you want so you just need to request because we do have the coconut milk here a few uh decorations no coconut milk <laughs> yes coconut milk <laughs> yes in salvador bahia do you have a big tradition of using coconut milk on your recipes and of course you have amazing uh, plantations of uh, coconuts to provide the whole country with that. And here, I love you guys. Please follow us, guides from South America. All, us girls are preparing a lot of cool, uh, a, a lot of cool tours for you and experiences. So it's Sayuri, Vanessa, uh, Grace. Tati Araujo here in Rio as well. And we have many cool stuff to offer you, such as the sunset tours, sunrise tours, especially the sunset tours. And here's our kitchen. My mom already is grabbing the coconut milk there just because Sayuri asked to. Ah, Sayuri, look at that. All right. A little bit of the ingredients that we have here. Let's see. And also, please let me know in case, ah, in case you have questions. Yeah, coconut milk, right, Sayuri? Uh-huh, okay. In case you have questions, 
Ah, Vanessa will do the sunset and it's also Sayuri in the first week of January. Thanks, Sayuri, for bringing the calendar up for us. Thanks for coming back again, Maria. We are showing now a little bit of our kitchen. That's the our house, the living room. My mom will do the cooking show today. Yes, she's very excited with her first show. E mãe, você vai mostrar os ingredientes? Sim. She will show the ingredients. Pão. The bread. Pão. So we go here to the bakery, we get this bread. It's uh, to make uh, some kind of uh, rabanadas. Cortado em fatias. Pão dormido. How do you say pão dormido? So you lift the bread from one day to another. And you cut the bread in slices such as this, thick, you know. Now, what is habanada? Old bread. Yes, yes, a bread that is from one day to the other. Bread, old bread. The bread cannot be fresh, otherwise it will get all dismantled. Oil, it can be a canola or soy oil. You boil the milk and you wait the milk to get uh, warm. Stale bread, good maple, thanks. And this is a, an unique ingredient, something that is a little bit hard for you to get. It was developed here in Brazil. And I don't know if someone there who is participating maybe has a guess or where to get the condensed milk or leite condensado. Here Nestlé in Brazil produces the leite moça. We don't use condensed milk here. You don't, Sayuri? Ah, do you use sugar? And the condensed milk is this sweet milk, creamy milk that we use in many Brazilian recipes. You can buy that in most supermarkets in Brazil, but in your country, uh, sometimes in Brazilian markets, you can find those. And você tirar tudo não? And be careful when you uh, lift the lid like that. One day I cut my finger and that's why I was here telling my mom, go slowly with that. Oh, she is putting the one liter of, of milk uh, boiled, but now warm. And the condensed milk, one can inside of that, uh, of this pan here. I don't know how do you call this mug. Ah, you do have in Canada, Canada, y'all. Good to know, I didn't know that. Mimi, also in North America, you can find that. Ah, cool. Nice. Well, when I lived in Oregon, it didn't have the condensed milk. Or it has another name, and I wasn't really knowing uh, what would be. And uh, thanks, Sayuri, for bringing uh, your other version of the, of the recipe with uh, bread, eggs, sugar, cinnamon, and sugar, eggs, like this. You have this white part of the eggs. How do you call the white parts of the eggs? I forgot. Now, another thing that I want to share, what my mom's gonna use. She will use also the coconut milk that Sayuri asked for. And also the creme de leite. My mother's... My mother's... Uh, she was there spilling milk on her hair and on her face as well. My mother's habanada is really good. So all the friends later will come, many friends and neighbors, they will come here tomorrow and maybe someone will join tonight. Just here, you know, our neighbors and friends around, they just pop up and come by, say hello, or have a, a habanada with us or something else that we might have here to share. So she's heating the, the oil now on the frying pan. Now look what is written on this nice, um, I don't know how to call this, that you used to dry the plate. It's written in Portuguese. Do you know what is written here? 
Dish Tao. Thanks, Nadiva. Thanks, Liza, for your support. Hi, Marco. Welcome. Thanks for joining. Egg White. Thank you, Egg White. We have it in Hungary as well. You have the, the condensed milk in Hungary. Cool. Yes, pour some warm milk into the can. And now what she's doing, she's pouring also the coconut milk inside of the same pan. Thank you. I appreciate some of the guidelines in English. Since this cooking show has some vocabulary that I'm not used to, I, you know, I'm a tour guide in town. I don't usually teach the cooking show. This is something that my mom really got excited about. Mm -hmm. Eggs. So she got three eggs and one she already separated the white part. And Lisa falou, obrigada, mãe. Thanks, mom. <laughs> And now she's separating the yolk, right, from the white part of three eggs. And she's going to do this. How do you say this that she's doing in English? Please help me with the English. Oops. Whip. She's whipping the white part of the egg. If you boil the condensed milk, we get... Caramelize a juice de leite. Yes! Doce de leite. We do have doce de leite. And I'm going to show you our doce de leite. Pode substituir o leite condensado por açúcar no leite e o leite de o creme de leite. So you can replace the condensed milk by sugar, like Sayuri does in Salvador. And then you'll be fine. Now, it, what you said about the doce de leite is completely right. We do make doce de leite here in Brazil as well. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for joining. Here is our doce de leite. Look, this one is called the souvenir. And it's a doce de leite with chocolate. Oh, I, it's almost getting to the end because I'm very, I'm like a... If I have this kind of thing set on the fridge, I end up eating them. Now, what is she doing? She is mixing the yolks with the whipped egg. So she, she whipped the white egg. Now she is spilling everything. Then now she is mixing the yolk with that. Vanessa, Vanessa tour guide from Lima, Peru, leading art tours, street art tours, and many heritage sites from Peru in Lima. She is here also with us. Please also follow Vanessa, one of our friends from South America. Oh, now what is she doing? She got the stale bread and she is putting inside of the milk with all the yummy delicious stuff inside mm -hmm. que tal besitos besitos vanessa buenas noches muchas gracias por venir muchas gracias ah you do that as well so then she dip in the milk then she remove a little bit of the milk and then she dip in the egg the whipped egg, drooling, drooling. Okay, <laughs> maple. Uh, you're drooling. Se quiser mais doce, bota mais creme de leite, mais leite condensado. Yeah. So for people who doesn't like it sugary, you you don't need to put a whole thing of condensed milk. It, it, but if you do like sugary, then you can put more. Now, uh, como é que tá o óleo aí? Tá so the oil is heating up. Tá oh, heating up the oil already. That can be uh, soy oil or uh, canola oil. Now I'll get back to the dish towel here. And I want to ask you, what is written here? This is a funny dish towel. It was produced in the northeast of Brazil by a group of designers there. 
and they make very fun quotes that is really they're really unusual and a friend of mine from the u.s who stays in our house every carnival he stays here and he comes participate in our parties and and barbecues as well he gifted us with that one yeah there is a question uh, about the milk what kind of milk ah good question um the question is the answer is whole meat whole meat uh, milk okay it's whole Now she's putting condensed milk, a little bit more. And I will tell her, Mãe, não exagera. Não, porque são dois pães. Because they are, she's using two breads, so she wants to use two condensed milk. São dois bits. pães. And of course, like you said, if you boil the, the milk, it can become a dulce de leite. Now... She removes a little bit of the excess of uh, of of egg. I said, "Espera um pouquinho, deixa ele esquentar mais para poder botar mais um." And then she dip in the hot oil. Look. So one thing is, você não bota todos os pães juntos porque senão esfria o óleo e aí ele pega muita gordura. Você bota, vai botando pouco a pouco que ele vai esquentando e vai fritando bem. So, what do you do? You don't put all the breads at once. You put two, and then you wait a little bit to put another one. Because otherwise, the oil can get a little bit colder, and then the bread will suck more oil inside. It's a, a traditional treat and dish, the habanadas. Uh, here in Rio de Janeiro. Also, Sayuri said that they have in Bahia, but actually, it's not a national treat. It's a treat brought from Portugal and Spain, and it was changed and adapted by Brazilians to become the Brazilian habanadas. And in, in Spain, it's usually eaten on the Holy Week before Easter, while here they are usually eaten on Christmas and New Year's Eve only. Hi, Kate. Hi, Diane. So you won't see people eating habanadas throughout the year in Rio de Janeiro. Nor throughout the whole country. It's not a national treat. So the oil here is, um, how can I say, it's high. And you see that it, it has to fry until it's gold uh, coated. And in the U.S., it's also known as French toast. There is a version of this with less oil, which is the French toast. And I had it there uh, while in, uh, in Oregon. And I said, wow, this is our Brazilian cabanadas, but it's different in the U.S., the way it's made. For you who are there, you know what I'm talking about. Now, again, so also, please let me know if I am pan-fried. Thanks. Maple, for your support with the English, it helps me a lot to learn. Uh, so you have all the mix here of the ingredients with the milk, and then you have the white egg with the yolk. Then you put the, the bread there, you collect the bread, you put it here, remove the excess of, of egg and then you can collect them here to slowly fry My pan fry finn and ben showed us how My to make daughter. french toast cool so you see and then it's nice if you took both tours because you can you can compare how close uh, or different they they are stale bread Pan fried until it's golden, light brown. It's more golden. Dourando. Hi, Kimberly. Thanks for joining. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Douradinha. Mm, douradinha. Ah. 
golden. Mm. Now, if yeah, it's really delicious, Vanessa, and we like to eat it like today, soon, uh, warm, and also tomorrow, cold, either for breakfast or any time during the day. Actually, it's a treat, and it's uh, it's dangerous. While it's there on the fridge, we want to have it. Now, she prepared also uh, another recipient with the, the uh, like brown bag, brown paper, and you can also add on the top a paper towel to collect the excess of, of oil that can be have on the surface. E aí, mãe, tudo bem? Tudo. Tá gostando? Tudo. Algum comentário? É a primeira vez. Ah, it's her, she says, it's her first master show on a live stream. Do you like to have it with coffee or hot chocolate for Christmas? Uh, I, I like to have it with coffee, but also with hot or cold chocolate is good. Especially because now in Brazil it's summertime, so we'd rather have cold drinks than hot drinks. But typically, when it's pan fried, it's served with maple syrup and fruit. Ah, cool. Yes, here we will have with, uh, it will coat with a mix of cinnamon and sugar. Look at that. You put sugar, cinnamon, and then you get the golden sugar. habanada. You use white sugar, refined. And then you coat here. Canela. And the cinnamon. Canela. In pó. Lisa, that's a great idea. Ela falou assim, talvez sua mãe possa fazer mais algumas coisinhas aí na cozinha pra gente. <laughs> né, mãe? Sim. Posso. Sim. Yes. She's good at preparing Pegar meat. Um different aqui. types of meat. Like, um, I don't know how to call that, like uh, cow's ox tail. She's good at doing those ox tails. It's a dish that people serve in uh, Britain, in England, in London. I have that, but not very common in the U.S. She's good at making Ooh. chicken gizzards. Mmm, look at that. Wow. Mmm. Cooking with Vilma, yes. Fluffy, indeed. Yes, that's that's a good description. So usually, uh, just to give you an idea, for outside, it gets crispy and eggy outside. And inside, it gets creamy and custardy. Vilma with W, you're right, Maple. Now, what is written there? O patriarcado vai cair. It means like the patriarchy, it's going to fall. It's going to drop. It's a feminist towel, uh, this towel that our friend gave us, our Aqui. friend Thomas from Seattle. Aqui é a casa das mulheres. Ah, so she is saying, okay, mãe, that this, this is the house of the women. Yes, most of people who, like here, women rule. It's a community a living lifestyle and a women rule in our house. It, it, we, men are welcome, all men are welcome, but the rules are ours, our rules from the girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and we are very happy like that. There are other names as well from our club, but it's kind of secret. Just people who come here, and they enter the, our club is uh, who get to know the name, the actual name of the, the club. It's secret. Yes. Now, another thing that I'd like to share, who, la, la, how cheesy and funny is this clock on our kitchen? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Did you like it, Maple? 
Now, and I have another funny thing here in our kitchen, and it's a gift from another friend. As you see, our house, uh, since we always host and receive friends and neighbors, our house has gifts from friends, like furniture and other things people gift us uh, because we are friendly, we like to receive, and they like to kind of put the house there the way they like. So we can have fun together. So this is another gift from the Northeast as well, from Ceará, same place where that dish tower come from. And people in the Northeast are very creative. No wonder why Saiguri is so fun and creative as well. She's from the Northeast of Brazil in Salvador, Bahia. Hi, Justine and Paul. Thanks for joining me to the Habanada cooking show of Vilma. So here is written, Fez uma boquinha, lave uma loucinha. Who is doing the dishes there? Who is washing the dishes? The man or the woman? Aqui comeu tem que lavar a louça. Yes, here if you eat, it, it, we don't say, ah, you were just visiting. No, a lot of people come visit and come again and come again. So if you come, you eat, it's good to do the dish. And especially the man, because we are very glad to, to, to cook for our friends, for our neighbors. But then when you see men cooking and uh, having dinner or lunch with us, we say, hello, guy, it's our turn. Our rule is the universal rule of if we cook, do you wash the dishes or no? <laughs> okay, okay. So here in Brazil, it's Ah, okay. My mom want to share a story of one of her boyfriends here. It's a good deal. Yeah. If we cook, you do the dishes. Yes. So she said that she invited one of her boyfriends here uh, uh, a few years ago, and she invited him to have dinner. Wallace. She made. A, she prepared the the the, the table with a lot of dishes. With different dishes there on the table. And so she, he cook, she cooked it for him, for her boyfriend. And then he said, wow, he ate everything. He was full. He got enough and he was very happy. And he said, what a delicious food you did for me. And after the food was gone, he had eaten everything. He was very satisfied and full. <laughs> so she said, so then he, uh, when he finished eating her boyfriend, She said, uh, okay, did you like eating? And he said, oh, it's gorgeous, wonderful. And now, and then she said, oh, okay, so now it's time to go there and then wash the dishes, do the dishes. And he, he said, oh, oh, when he came to the, to the sink, he saw a lot of dishes inside of the sink and he said, oh, no, not even in my grandma's house. I have to wash such a load of dishes like here. And then she invited him for the second, for the second date, like to second date inside of house to serve him another dinner. And then he said, "Yes, yes." He said instead of now putting all of beautiful dishes inside on the table with different things inside. Now let's just keep it simple and make our own dishes on the stove so we don't, uh, how can I say, we don't make so many dishes dirty. Because then on that time he learned that wasn't those that many dishes to wash afterwards. Now, uh, ladies and guys, if you are there present, please feel free to ask questions or ask me also If you want me to show specific uh, ingredients that I've shown before or to move slowly the camera in specific time where you want to see again, and uh, I will be happy to do that, okay? Now, again, 
if you want to take a postcard here of our cheesy stuff on the wall, just there is this, and I can show you. Um, mãe, eu vou fazer um, vou botar aqui para eles fazer um print da tela. Aí, se você quiser, aparece a sua carinha aqui, ó. Olha para cá. So you can make a print with my mom. And there, vamos contar até cinco. Cinco, quatro, três, dois, um. <laughs> a fun postcard there with Mama Vilma cooking rabanadas. So here is written. Fez uma boquinha, lave uma loucinha. If you did a little mouth, or it means if you ate, do the dishes. Do the little dishes. Oh, nice, Vanessa. Thanks for sharing, for taking the picture. At least he didn't run away. No, Nadiva, actually, they stayed together for a few years. Uh, Mom, quanto tempo você ficou com Alice? Três anos. They stayed together for three years. And, and they are friends. Yeah, he's a good, he is a good, nice uh, guy. And he comes here to our barbecues. Or to her uh, birthday parties. We love to do birthday parties here on our back page. I'm almost falling here on the kitchen. Now again, again, just to show for you who arrived later, Afterwards, after our beginning, let's review the ingredients. If dishes didn't scare him, that's a good sign. Yes, the cooking was good. People are nice. So people stay. People don't mind doing the dishes after eating food made with love with, by nice hosts. Now, all right, so let's make this quiz then. What are the ingredients of the... Rabanadas, who ah, remember? E se quiser, se for a pessoa light, ainda pode fazer ela no forno. Ah, okay. Não fica tão gordurosa. So she said that she reminded that that if you are light, if you rather have it light, that you can cook it, bake it on the stove. It doesn't taste as good as deep Faz fried, assim. but it's good also. Faz it's lighter. Assim, bota no leite. No ovo, e bota aqui, e bota no forno. Uh -huh. 2D. Gostosa. Thanks for joining the Rabanada Cooking Show with Vilma. We're going all uh, for more about 13, 15 minutes. And I hope I will be able to try one before. Because there are a few already fried there by Vilma Chef. Now, fazendo a pergunta que eu estava fazendo... The question, the quiz I was making, for those of you who arrived now or who arrived before, let's make this memory game. What are the ingredients to make a good Brazilian habanada? The Brazilian Christmas treat consumed and used in Christmas time in Rio de Janeiro. What it looks like in the middle. Yes, I would do that maple. I will, but first let's see then. First ingredient, that whole milk, okay? Integral, 100%. The other ingredients, let's see. Ta -da -da -ta -ta. Milk, condensed milk. Leite condensed milk, leite condensado. Uh, leite de coco, coconut milk. Condensed milk, leite condensado. And this is optional. Le creme de leite, whipped cream. O leite de coco também é opcional, foi para agradar a baiana. Yeah, the coconut milk, o leite de coco, is also optional, okay? This was a request from some of you. It was here inside of the... The, the, the cabinet, and then since I really said, do you use coconut milk? And then we decided to use that to treat you because we like to do special for you. Dulce de leite? No. Dulce de leite, Nediva, is something that we can do out of the milk. And we uh, have it. It's almost finishing because I'm gulosa. I love dulce de leite, but we don't use that in the habanada. Mucho aceite, sim. 
muito óleo. Muito óleo. Por isso que pode ser yes. forno. That's why, that's another reason why us Brazilians don't eat it, such as the French toast in the morning and breakfast, like many people do in the U.S., because we don't usually eat fried, deep fried things in the morning in Brazil. Eggs. Good maple. Got it. You got it. Now to coat at the end. This mix of sugar, white sugar, and cinnamon. Okay. We have 10 minutes more to go. And I'd like to know if you have any questions before I actually coat the habanadas in that sugar and to have a taste of that. Do you, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, present man. there, do you have any questions? Uh, cardamom, no, no cardamom. And, oh, yes, my mom said there is a variation, alternative, that you can also put red wine um, in that mix. Or even um, for you who are uh, in, having tolerance for milk, you can remove the condensed milk or the milk from there and use more, a little bit of wine to make that. Yes. Sweet pear. Oh, if you want to make that, we can get the habanada soon and make Habanadas. a postcard together. <laughs> ah, okay, good. Good strategy, Maple. All right. Oh. Primeira live. Não estou acostumada a fazer. Her first live stream, she's not used to that. E você está gostando? Tô. Are you enjoying? Eu não posso falar muito porque eu tenho que ficar concentrada aqui. She's just not mais. talking too much because she has to keep focused there to not let it burn. Let me see the ingredients: whole milk, condensed milk, coconut. Yes, thanks, Vanessa, for sharing. You remember everything. You got it all. Do we ever put Nutella on the French toast, Michelle? We don't. We don't put Nutella, but it's something that people who uh, uh, want to like maybe make it with less sugar, you are more than welcome to eat it with Nutella afterwards. Yes, use your creativity. Thank you so much, Maple, for supporting. Oops, I think there is someone arriving here. And uh, it's there. Aqui, aqui. So, like I was saying, the way we live here is a community living all together in the house. From our traditions, we bring that. And I'd like to introduce you people from the house so we could share the habanadas. But let me talk to my mom so we can give have a break there. And I will invite if she wants to come and eat the first habanadas with us. Mãe. É, então, queria te convidar, porque a gente tem aqui mais... É... Ajeita aqui, ó. Vai levar lá no espelho, ali no espelho. É, a gente tem mais uns 10 minutinhos, menos que isso. Aí o pessoal quer ver como é que é por dentro e quer ver como é que a gente come. Aí se a gente pode dar uma pausa, né, coletar essas que você tá é, terminando, não colocar mais, não. dar uma pausa ó. e preparar aqui e levar lá pra mesa pra gente comer, apresentar a Manu, comer e finalizar. Share, yes, exactly. We are going to share. Now she's coating the habanada on the mix of sugar and cinnamon, one side and the other, just a little bit to not get too, too sweet because remember, inside already have condensed milk. I can do Portuguese practice, sure. Hi, Anna, thanks for joining. Ice cream, oh, maple, you are definitely right. No wonder what that my mom my mom already got the ice cream. Look at this. She thought about that. We uh, she actually bought the ice cream with uh, chocolate flocos, flakes, chocolate flakes, and we will eat habanada with that. Now I would like to introduce you one another important member of the house who is here, Manu. Come by, Manu. Look, this side. Here's Manu. 
Manu, where are you from? I'm from Goyaz State. It is um, in Brazil. Yeah, it's not a tradition, right? I don't right? remember if I, I eat in, it in Goyaz or... Uh, let me see. I, I this... don't remember, but... That's... Let me check here. Come here. Mãe, você pode trazer as rabanadas, então? Ah, obrigada. So, my mom says she will bring the rabanadas for us. É, Manu, senta aqui com a gente, então. Vamos ver se dá para botar aqui. My mom will bring the rabanadas. Let me see. Ah, the sound is bad. Great. I was concerned with that. That's why I came here. So you don't remember having the habanadas as something that's special from Goiás, right? Yeah. Um, what's the, the where where is is from the habanadas? Ah, the habanadas. Good to ask to answer to ask that. Ah. So we will share the mic. So Manu, she's from Goiás, the center of Brazil, and uh, the habanadas, Manu, they are from Spain and Portugal. And they were brought here, and the Brazilians changed the recipe. What I'm sharing now, hey, the habanadas just got here. Uh, uh, that's amazing. It's, try, it's time to try and show you the habanadas. Mamãe, venha com a gente. I, she said, oh, just wait a second. But while, while she comes, she's getting the, taking the other habanadas from the, the, the pan. And she will come join us. I'm going to share and show you how is the habanada inside, okay? Ah, she also brought coffee. And coffee cups for us. Você vai tomar cafezinho, Manu? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe because it's evening already. Maybe I can't already. sleep if I, if I drink coffee, coffee. just now. Yeah, there is this risk with the caffeine at this time. Ah, I won't forget the ice cream. Ah, you want to see the ice cream now? Okay, maple, you are terrible. Sound cut out when she was talking. Ah, okay, I'll take care of that. It's because the, the mic is close to me. Thanks, thanks for letting me know, maple. Você podia pegar para gente o sorvete de flocos, então, que eles estão fazendo um pedido especial para a gente mostrar como que o sorvete de flocos? Pego. É lá no freezer? Tá. Manu is going to get the ice cream for us. E uma concha de feijão, porque é mais fácil de tirar. Uh -uh. Ah, thank you so much, Vanessa, for sharing the link. Uh, please remember to follow my channel and the channel of the guides from South America. We are working together to offer our experiences aligned so we can um, refer to each other and make like build up a narrative that will make sense for you outside of South America to have an idea of the diversity of our cultures in South America, of our languages as well. And also ask any questions if you if you do have related. Oops, ice cream coming. Thank you so much. Obrigada, Manu, por trazer o sorvete. We say sorvete is the ice cream. And no worries. We can reorganize these here. And I'm going to also use the gimbal so you can see. Now, the freezer here in our place is very good. And so this is... Hard like stone. I don't think I'm, I will be able to remove everything. She's sharing the, I don't know how to say that, the place where you put the, the ice cream. But these are uh, yellow and green, the colors of our Brazilian flag. Dishes, yes, ice cream dishes. Let me see. One thing, where is the, ah, the Brazilian flag is there. Flocos, sorvete de flocos. My mom has come. Don't you have this ice cream there? 
Do you have sorvete de flocos? Thank you, Vanessa, for sharing the Brazilian flag. Does the ice cream come in the container or your mom put it in there? It comes inside of this container. Is it different in your country, in New York City, Nadiva? Do you have a flocks, chocolate flakes flavor? Yeah, come in the, con come in the container. Yes. yes. Pote de sorvete. And, mm. and we use after finish the ice cream. We put other uh, other foods. Yeah, we yeah. reuse the the yeah. you can the container. The, you can use this a long long time. Yeah, many times. Yes, good. Okay. Also, Manu, she's learning English, and yeah. uh, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry. I I'm sorry. am I am supporting her to learn English so she can be in other tours as well with us. She is an actress, and maybe she could. Share some stories in the future. Only beautiful. No, I'm, yes. I'm not only a beautiful face. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm more than this. You're a talented me. girl. Vamos Now let's go and see this table, how that's going. Vamos Hi, Kate L. And she has a sense of humor. Definitely, Mimi. She, I laugh a lot with these girls here in our place. Our home is really rich with these fun people around doing their shows. And here is the habanada. Here's my mom is showing the habanada while Manu is washing her hands. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mommy, você podia mostrar dentro da habanada, quebrar ela assim, mostrar como é que é? Fica molhadinha. Mm. Yummy. Delicious. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Nossa, it's good. Se tivesse aquela luz da, da emergência, eu estar ainda com mais detalhe. Ah, I have a, an extra lamp here. And I think that can work for you to see the... Oh, with an extra light. Oi, oi, oi. Again, again. Mm. Nossa, I'm getting, I'm drooling here as well, right next to the fruit. Should we make a postcard here? Wow. With, ah, ah, oh, Manu, oh. Mm. Delicious. Wow. What kind of bread did she start with? It's the, uh, I think you said, you, someone mentioned that. It's the, I think, stale bread, Italian bread. Ah, let's do one with uh, sorvete, chocolate chips. Let's do one with chocolate chips. Delicious. If you. Uh, it's delicious, isn't it? Delicioso. So um, um, A very good tex texture. Texture. Sorry. Nice, good. Yeah. Mm, yes, we are getting to the end here. But we need to have the final one with. How can I say this? With the ice cream. We will finish soon. Arruma aqui, ó, uma composição bonitinha. Manu, você pode ajudar a fazer uma composição aqui? Eu vou pegar o sorvete e deixar aqui na verdade. Hmm? Now she's preparing something to make a postcard here. I think these um, habanada with sorvete, ice cream, like this. It's going to be delicious. And with coffee, mmm. Thank you so much, Anita, for your support. 
that to toda helps minha lado. us and inspire us to do more recipes, to invent more things, to be creative all the time. And to... Ah, I need to invite you also. Thank you, Maple, for your presence, your support. You asked for food and treats, and uh, we made it special. Oh, thank you so much, Marcel. Thanks. Merry Christmas to all of you and your family as well. I'm going to take this out. And there's a nice... Mãe, senta aí para fazer um postcard com você, ó. My mom will sit there so we can have a postcard with my mom. Tira aquele negocinho de adoçante. And we can finish with a beautiful postcard of my mom. Bom Natal a todos. She said, Merry Christmas to everyone. Bom Natal a todos. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much. On the 28th, Tuesday, next week, we will invite you to our home again. We will make a barbecue Brazilian style. And we will invite some friends to come join and you learn how to make a Brazilian barbecue on our back patio there. And it's going to be fun. I will also teach you how to make caipirinha. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support. Merry Christmas, you all. Oh, Vanessa, thank you. Bye, bye, bye. Tchau, pessoal. <laughs> bonitinho. A gente é bonitinho. Olha só que lindas. Olha só. A gente, a gente merece, né? A gente, a gente merece treats. Poxa vida. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho.